Hello friends, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and today's topic we are going to talk about the odontogenic tumor. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another 5 in 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes and today's topic is CEOT. Already we have covered CEOC which is the calcifying cyst. Now it's the time that we study about the calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor and before we get started make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future notifications. So today's topic is the calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor also known as a pinbock tumor since it was first reported by the Danish pathologist Jens Jordan Pinbock in 1955. So, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor is a rare, it is usually a peripheral tumor. So, you can remember it from P for Pinbock, P for posterior mandible, posterior jaw or P for you can remember the premolars. Right. So, you can remember it from P for pinbox, C-E-O-T you can remember from P. So, it is a rare peripheral, usually a peripheral tumor and locally aggressive but less aggressive than amyloblastoma. It is similar to the amyloblastoma so that it can, it is derived from the cell rest of serre, cell rest of meiosis, cell rest and reduced enamel epithelium. So, all of these are the factors which will cause the calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor. As the name suggests, there will be calcification present within the tumor and thereby the radiographic appearance we call the driven snow appearance like a snow is driven into the wind. Like that, there will be foci of calcification. Radiopic calcification foci which will be present in between the radiolucent zone. So, this radiolucent zone in between there will be foci of calcifications, radio opacities present in between the radio density. So, that will give an appearance of driven snow appearance and this tumor is usually present in the posterior part of the jaw. It The tumor seems like a slow enlarging painless swelling with the expansion and the distortion of the cortical plate. So, the most important thing to remember is mostly in the premolar molar regions it is present posterior part of the jaw compared to the other surfaces. Histopathologically, once we take a cross section, what we see that these tumor cells, they are polyhedral epithelial cells, right? And these cells are arranged in sheets or islands. Now, also they can have the cribriform appearance, but mostly they are the polyhedral epithelial cells which are placed in non-inflammatory connective tissue. So, the connective tissue doesn't contain any of the inflammatory cells in case of CEOT, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor. And as we know that there will be calcification present in the epithelial. See, as the name suggests, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor. That means the origin will be odontogenic and the epithelial contains the calcification. So, there are calcifying masks calcified mass which are present within the lesions. We call it the less gangs ring, rings. So, these are the concentric, concentric rings. Basically, these are the calcified masses. So, these calcified masses are present in the concentrically laminated rings around the degenerated tumor cells. So, around the tumor cells, they are going to be calcify, calcifying rings which are present which we call the least gang rings and and also we can see the amyloids which is present so some amount of homogeneous highline material which is deposited within the tumor cells so in between the tumor cells so in the, suppose this is one tumor cell this is another tumor cell so in between these tumor cells also there is amyloids which is deposited so, remember this as the name suggests calcified or epithelial odontogenic tumor. That means calcification we will see in the radiograph, calcification we will see in the histopathological diagram. So, radiograph we will see that there are calcification present within the tumor and because of that, within this radiolucency we see the radio opacities like a driven snow. And histopathologically we see that these tumor cells, they have got calcified masses that are 
hematophilic in nature and these are presented as the concentric laminated rings in and around the degenerated tumor cells so around the tumor cells we have got these rings of calcified mass which are the lysogen rings so lysogen rings are present so this is about calcified epithelial odontogenic tumor also known as the pinbog tumor because of the name who reported it first the pin pinbog jj pinbog so guys this is about ceot or pinbog tumor if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and there is a link in the description box below to support me on paytm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated i will see you soon in the next video